Trilor, the analog bar fabrication procedures. This instructional video will make use of Trilor as a substructure for all on X cases. In this instance, the patient is wearing a temporary restoration. A temporary restoration can aid in the evaluation of occlusion and restorative space. A matrix may be made over the temporary arch on the model or even a previous try-in in order to evaluate the restorative space. In order to prepare properly for the fabrication of the substructure, screw down the abutments and evaluate their heights with the use of the putty matrix. Once the height of the substructure has been determined, you may cut down the abutments as necessary. We are now ready to open up the Trilor arch set. Within this arch set, there are three different thicknesses for different types of substructures. Choose the desired thickness for the substructure. The substructure thickness desired here is a 3.5 millimeter. Next, take a sheet of hard base plate wax and press it down on top of the abutments. This will help in locating the abutment position on the Trilor substructure. Be sure to create holes in your base plate wax. Once the holes have been marked on the base plate wax, use the base plate wax to position the holes on the Trilor bar as desired. Using a number eight round burr, create pilot holes where the holes have been marked using the base plate wax. It should be noted that guidelines suggest a minimum thickness of 3.5 millimeters for any trilor substructure. Check the pilot hole positions and open those holes accordingly with a tapered carbide burr. Once the holes are positioned correctly, even checking the bar for strength, the trilor still holds up. Following AP spread guidelines, measure and cut any extensions. Before cementing the trilor substructure to the titanium abutments, be sure to sandblast the titanium abutments and the trilor at two bars pressure. Treat the abutments with metal primer as well. It is also good practice to block the access holes to prevent cementation of the screw heads. Using resin cement, connect the abutments to the trilor bar. Follow the cement manufacturer instructions. Once the cementation process is complete, you may shape and finish the trilor bar as necessary. Use the matrix to guide you in the overall contours of the bar substructure.
Upon completion, the wraparound design should be lifted off the tissue and the minimum suggested thickness should be achieved throughout the trilor bar substructure. Next, using the matrix, you can create a wax pattern of the temporary restoration to aid in the setting of teeth, or even to use as a plug-in for the denture teeth of a previous setup. At this time, you may set teeth and wax as desired. The case is now ready for trying.